Women's Gambit, uh, quite possibly uh, for these lads, uh, Tabata Bay and Wesley. So honestly, I'm not so sure what's good. I was going to ask what sort of opening would give both white and black the most chances. Uh, for Tabata Bay, I mean, he, he probably has a choice between E4 and D4, but in cases that's gonna be something very solid from Sosa. I believe E4 would be answered with E5 and then it's quite possibly the Petrov or response. Because after yeah after knight c3 as I said oh, we have it. Uh, as I said usually that be bishop b4 and uh, the Nimza but might as well be that Hikaru would start with this moves order and then still would go for d5, transposing to Queen's Gambit. Because I, I don't think he's uh, that big of a Nimsa player, he's more of a Queen's Gambit player. Okay. Uh, okay, so now it is a Queen's Gambit, but the knight's already on f3, right? So knight f3, d5, knight c3, bishop e7, and bishop f4. Yeah, and a bishop f4, bishop f4 is an interesting one because. Uh, what Hikaru, yeah, castles, castles is fine, yeah, e2, e3 will be played, and then what Hikaru is used to do is uh, play knight d7, white would go c5, black would go knight h5, and basically they would play, they would play this.
as squares on c5 and f4 ready. And by the way, by the way, the other game has finished. Oh. The other game has finished and Amin so has resigned. won. Yeah, Amin has won. Congratulations to Amin, that's a big win for yeah, him. That's... Especially with probably 150 points difference between them. Yes, yeah, so Wesley, of course, was a huge favorite uh, when it comes to Elon. Yeah, 149, not, not even 150 points. <laughs> as they say, as they say on Twitch, not even 150 points favorite. Mm, yeah, so, but, but really well played by Amin Tabatabe. Doesn't matter that Wesley, yeah, Wesley did blunder, but first, uh, 